Hey everybody, it's been a while since we've been able to do a little combo shot here with Alderman Farms. They came up to Tombsuba, Mississippi last year and helped us out with a little project we were doing on our property. And Tommy, you're still helping me out, but this time I'm down here on their property. We're uh, finishing up this permaculture design certificate course and we have to design a site. That, that's how we complete this certification. And so I, I came to you and I asked you if you wouldn't mind if we use your acreage as, as the, the template that we wanted to use for our, for our farm. And now other than being a good friend, why were you interested in, in having that design? Well, I mean, it was, it was perfect timing for us because uh, Jared's uh, newly developing expertise um, fits in perfect timing with us here at Alderman Farms because uh, you may remember on uh, perhaps it was our last homestead help episode where we kind of talked about future plans. Uh, we do have plans to, to expand our operation here, uh, expand the acreage we have under fence. And so it was perfect timing since we're at the point that we're ready to do that to get some guidance in, in maybe the best ways to go about it. Uh, best ways to uh, take advantage of water resources and this and that. So uh, it was perfect timing and it didn't take me long to think about, you know, my answer to say, yeah, come on. Okay. Now we've, we've already spent a lot of time walking around here. It's about 116 acres. Is that right? Or roughly? Well, the total, the total acreage is, is 116. Okay. And we, we spent some time walking around, saw water features, checked out the different contours around your property and talked about some different options. What what in your mind stands out the most right now? What what made the most impression to you, or maybe maybe it was something that you were excited about trying, or something that was just because it was new information really stuck out to you? Well, two things. Uh, I, although I had heard the term ram pump, um, I, I didn't understand the concept or actually what they were used for, and so I'm excited maybe for a future possibility to actually be. We have a creek. Um, actually two creeks that merge into one on what we call the back 40 of the property, the least accessible portion of the property, and never did I, did I dream that there was any possibility to capture that water. So I'll be doing some research on that. But the thing that blew me away uh, is I never understood, because I've never looked into it, how much what usable water can be captured from rainfall uh, coming off of hard surfaces like, like roofs. Uh, Jared did some little sort of off-the-cuff calculations based on a little what used to be our camp building that's basically nothing more than a building sitting in the woods now um, that's maybe 12 by 24 if that and uh, postulates that based on annual rainfall in this area we could capture as much as or possibly as little as 11,000 gallons of usable water a year that blows my mind so if we can capture that much water there what could we do by incorporate here on the main part near our home if we if we install a gutter system and rain capture system on all of the structures here many multiples of that and that blows me away and i promise you that'll be that's moving up to the near top of our list of things that we're going to begin looking into okay well so this is almost a starting point tommy and i have already had a, a couple conversations online and on the phone about getting started with this project, but I told him, I said, we just got to actually get on the ground and see what's really here. So now had an opportunity to sit down with you and your wife and talk about what your long-term goals are, what your short-term goals are. And so we can design a full implementation, but with the understanding that we want to focus on particular areas first so that we can get those areas up and running first, because you've already have cattle, you already have goats, you already have pigs and chickens. You can have turkey, and I'm sure I'm missing something. Uh, dogs. <laughs> and dogs. And plenty cats. Of, plenty of dogs and cats. So. Cats. But um, we're going to focus on you wanting to get some more head of cattle. Yes, we, we, mainly we've got dairy cattle, two jerseys, for mostly for our, for our own use. But we would like to maybe use those uh, to, to their offspring. We breed them with an Angus bull to make their childbirth easier. But we would like to, one of the two actually had a heifer calf and we plan on breeding her back to an Angus. Okay. So to get more beef into her line. So I don't know that we won't add any more dairy cattle, but we look, would like to branch into having a small herd to start with of beef cattle. Okay. 
And so we're going to focus on that, which means the reason that's important to design is we know where we want to put those cattle. Right. And so we can't sit there and say, oh, well, we've got this beautiful flowing creek on the, low, on the back 40. But where we're looking to have to put these cattle at, at first, that might not be a resource to us. So right. we have to understand that as we try to phase into the design for Alderman Farms. Right. So, Tommy, I just want to thank you and your wife for your hospitality and, sure. and allowing us to come down for, for helping me by giving me a, a property to, to practice on for completing this permaculture course. And I hope that as my experience increases and as your farm grows that we can come back maybe even do some revisions on the design sure. and fine-tune some things and y'all I have to tell you have you noticed the tree behind me that is a darn fig tree and one, I tell you it's it, one fig tree. that's one fig tree and it is huge you can't you, I know you can't see it all but I'm telling you it's a good 15 feet wide about 15 feet tall that's the biggest fig tree I've ever seen it's in my life it's a whopper life. it's full of figs <laughs> it is full of figs so pretty amazing stuff it'll be a great uh, to work with Alderman Farms and see you continue to grow as we continue to grow. Uh, and will our viewers be able to track this project? I sure hope so. Yeah. On both of our channels? We can, absolutely. Watch both of our channels, J&J &J right. Acres and Alderman Farms. Jared's kind enough to, to be able to upload these videos to his channel and my channel, and he knows how to annotate stuff. I don't. <laughs> I, I get frozen. I have no idea. So uh, I guess, you know, viewers can follow along. Uh, with his progress uh, in the course and the design of our future expansion here at, at Alderman Farms uh, on both of our YouTube channels. All right. Thank you all for watching. We appreciate you. If you're watching this on Alderman Farms, I'd invite you to come over and see us in J&J &J Acres. And if you're watching on J&J &J Acres, I'm telling you to go over to Alderman Farms and, and check them out. They're good people doing good work and providing good food and produce and soon to be meat here in Mississippi. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.